February is Heart Health Month, a not-so-subtle reminder that heart disease is the number one killer of both men and women in the United States. The good news is heart and vascular disease is preventable. Dr. Bruce Usher is a cardiologist with Rex Heart and Vascular Specialists. He's our special guest today on Around the Triangle. Dr. Usher, we're, we're talking about heart health, and this is Heart Health Month, and really it's a concern for everybody, and is there a, is there a specific age where we need to start worrying about our heart health? You know, it's amazing. Heart disease uh, has always been thought to be a disease as we get older and above 60, 65 years of age. But um, in this business, uh, we are seeing it younger and younger. And I don't think there is any age uh, that we shouldn't be concerned about our heart health. And even in the uh, uh, patients in their 30s and 40s need to be uh, aware of, of the potential for heart disease that could affect them. That seems awful young very young, um, and it's uh, frightening at times to see disease, but we know that, uh, that heart disease begins even in the teens, and, and even earlier may not manifest itself until later in the years, but uh, getting a grip on it very early is going to be very important long term. Your experience, is it, is it really a lot of genetics? I mean, if it's in your family, should you just be acutely aware? Absolutely. Uh, I think uh, there are so many modifiable risk factors that, that we as uh, patients can, can take control of, but the one thing as of now that we can't do anything about is the genetic, genetic makeup. And so our family history is very important, and uh, we can't do anything about aging. Uh, so we know that certainly heart disease does manifest itself more as we get older. We are living longer, uh, and, um, but family history is a, a vital, uh, vitally important uh, role player but here. But as we age, I mean, there are certainly things that we can do to improve our heart health. Absolutely. Absolutely. And I think one of the most important things is just having all patients, no matter what their age, be aware of what are the risk factors and what they should be looking for. Do they, do they consider themselves at risk of having heart disease and maintaining a active, healthy lifestyle, eating right, um, addressing uh, the factors that can be modifiable, um, such as smoking, exercise, uh, weight, uh, and sedentary lifestyles are all really important to maintaining that healthy uh, lifestyle for a long time. What kinds of signs should we look for for problems? There are a variety, and of course, uh, everybody uh, understands and knows about chest pain and pressure, someone sitting on their chest with regards to, to heart attacks, uh, but um, they can be subtle uh subtle symptoms that uh, many people would chalk up to other possible uh, causes, such as heartburn, um, such as uh, shortness of breath. Uh, and we know that uh, women in particular may not present classically um, and often have different symptoms, as well as patients who have diabetes uh, and the older population, so nausea even, uh, breaking out in sweats, um, shortness of breath, excessive fatigue, all can be the early signs of an underlying cardiac problem. You touched on something that caught my eye as I was doing a little research, and that's women, and specifically even younger women, having some serious heart problems. Yes, yes. Do you see an increase in that? Uh, we, we are, you know, we, we see a, a fair number of, of, of heart disease in women, and it was always thought that, um, that women were not affected as much, but it's clearly one of the leading causes of death in women, as is in men. Um, typically, they present a little bit later in life. But uh, as we're seeing heart disease early in men, we're seeing it in women, too. And so I treat them uh, uh, similarly. And when you say it presents differently, it touched on a little bit. Let's, let's talk a little bit more about, you know, men and women being different just by just in general. But when you say they, it presents differently, what, what, what should a woman look for? Well, again, uh, certainly the, the signs of any chest pain, tightness, pressure, uh, always is uh, something that they need not uh, ignore. Uh, and um, but shortness of breath and easily getting short-winded when you're when they're doing their normal activities, uh, nausea, uh, breaking out sweats, and even heartburn. Um, what they perceive as heartburn are all important early signs that potentially there's a heart problem. May not always be the case, but you don't want to ignore that. So how, we don't have to be you know gymnasts to get good exercise. What are some things we can do to just sort of keep our keep our heart pumping? Well, it's, it's, it's a good question, and it's amazing. If you um, just were to get out and, and walk even 20 to 30 minutes four or five times a week, um, what that does to benefit you, your body, the, the risk of developing diabetes, high blood pressure is dramatic. And so 
I tell patients that they don't have to go to a, to a gym and, and, and spend a lot of money um, if that's a concern, particularly in this day and age. Um, getting out and walking around the, the neighborhood, um, doing things like that, and taking 30 minutes out of your day five days a week will go a long way. And you're not talking about, you know, speed walking. We're talking about just getting out and just get... getting out and walk. Absolutely. Walking your dog. Uh, you know, we, we, we like to, to push ourselves a little bit. And so maybe more than just a little leisure walk. But but the patients who are not doing anything right now, anything more than that is is, is headed in the right direction. There is uh, also a nice uh, heart aware screening uh, program that can be accessed on a uh, website uh, uncrexhardaware.com, uh, which is an easy, uh, easy thing that anybody can can get access to, and takes five or ten minutes to get an assessment of what their heart risk is. And provide some some educational uh, points that allow you to know what you can do to address some of these issues. And at the end, you get a scorecard, and you can use that uh, to also then uh, proceed with either further follow up screening and consultation, um, free of charge. Um, provided, you know, if, if, if your risk is, is uh, abnormal. So I think getting out there and just making sure you are aware of your risk is the most important thing because so many people are just walking around with a lot of heart disease they're, they're totally not aware of. And we hate to see, uh, see it too late uh, because a lot of this is, is, is preventable and with the, the, the medications and lifestyle modifications and the interventions that we can do, Boy, we can maintain a, a, a healthy heart for a long time. So you're saying a great place to start is, give me that website again. So it's uncrexhardaware.com. And go there, and that's going to give you just an assessment, a basic assessment of where you're at in, in terms of your heart absolutely. health. Absolutely. There's a series of questions with a, a, uh, that you can go. It takes only about five or ten minutes, and at the end it, it gives you a, a scorecard of what your cardiovascular risk is. That sounds great. I mean, what a great idea. Oh, it's, it's fantastic. And I think that's the big thing is just really making sure people are aware of what their risk is. It may be, it may be very small, but I think there will be a lot of surprises as to, to, and, and to, 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 to their risk. And it, then it focuses on what you can do to actually minimize those risks. So it's, it provides some educational bullet points. If you think you're having a problem, is it, should we hesitate calling a doctor? No. I, the, the, what we hate to see is the patients who have been feeling like they've been having heartburn for three or four days, in fact, that were having a heart attack, and then it's too late. So the earlier they get to get in to see a primary care physician, cardiologist, any, any physician uh, so that we can make the appropriate uh, diagnosis is, is best. Earlier, the better. Many thanks to Dr. Bruce Usher, a cardiologist with Rex Heart and Vascular Specialists. From Rush Radio, I'm Steve Siddall for Around the Triangle.